the thing can't set me free and do what you've done for me don't want to be like the sports superstar no i won't get too far i just want to be like you Jesus said. 
Bible. Jesus feeds the 5,000. This is Jesus. hey -o! Who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love. He did many miracles and healed people of their sickness. Oh, hey, everyone. A huge crowd kept following him wherever he went because they saw his miraculous signs as he healed the sick. A crowd started to gather around Jesus. There were 5,000 men and many more women and children. Turning to Philip, he asked, Hey, Philip! Where can we buy bread to feed all these people? You see, Jesus was testing Philip, for he already knew what he was going to do. Um. Philip replied, Even if we worked for months, we wouldn't have enough money to feed them. Hey, I got an idea. Then Andrew spoke up, There's a young boy here with five barley loaves and two fish. But what good is that with this huge crowd? Jesus said, tell everyone to sit down. Bye, everyone. Sit down. Then Jesus took the loaves, gave thanks to God, and gave them to the people. There you go. Afterward, he did the same with the fish. And they all ate as much as they wanted. Want some more? I'm all good. Thanks. After everyone was full, Jesus told his disciples, Now gather the leftovers, so that nothing is wasted. You got it! So they picked up the pieces and filled twelve baskets with scraps, left by the people who had eaten from the five barley loaves and two fish. Today we're going to be making a hope journal to record what God is doing in our lives and I'm Eli and I'm going to show you how to do that. What you'll need is first up a worksheet which you can find the link of in the description. You're going to need scissors, some pens or pencils that are coloured, some decorations and a glue stick. Cut around the outside grey line. Then fold all of the lines. Fold the page in half widthways and then cut along the solid line. Open it up and fold it in half lengthways. Then push the two ends together so that it collapses into a book shape. Decorate your cover page any way you would like to. You can use stickers, gems, drawings, whatever you like. So using this journal that we've just made, we can record and write down what God is doing in our lives and how he's helping us. There are titles at the top of each page of the book to help you with knowing where to write. This is a really good way to keep track of God's goodness and what he's doing in our lives and keep track of our prayers. You can also use this book to share your stories with others that need hope in Jesus too. Thanks for watching.